Hello, guys. How are you? Hi, good evening, teacher. How are you? Great. Waiting and ready. Are you ready? <clears throat> How's everything? Yeah. Are you cold? I'm cold. It's a little fresh tonight. And yesterday it was fresh. The weather was really nice. <clears throat> Christmas is arriving any plans for christmas i work no sitting yo voy a trabajar ah uh, but that's good if you work you have money for the party um uh, i don't like party uh, parties <laughs> No, come on. De verdad, de verdad. <laughs> I, I like Christmas and theme. No, como se dice? And the year, o sea, is happy for you. Es bueno, o sea, me, me pone feliz. Pero mm, así como celebrarlo como tal, ya me resulta un poco. Eh. I understand, I understand. But do you like Exacto. presents? Do you like presents, gifts, regalos? I like presents and gifts. <laughs> cool. What do you want for Christmas, Kimberly? Dinner of... No, as a present. No, dinner with... Oh, oh. Um, mm, books. Boots. Hey, that's books. Cool. Ah, books. Um, books uh -huh. or boots. Books. Okay, good. Uh, reading. Uh -huh. All right. Um, uh, clothing. Clothing. Um, gift cards. <laughs> uh huh. Mm. Uh, no. Things of the yearly, yearling, yes. Yearly. Okay, cool. Uh huh. And uh, who? Mary, what do you want for Christmas? Me perdí, teacher. Voy entrando. <laughs> Estamos haciendo nuestra lista de regalos. What do you want for Christmas? Nothing. Nothing. Y yo queriendo Nothing. regalar. Ok, cool. No, solo el certificado de, de la prueba TOEFL. <laughs> el TOEFL. Solo, only. Only that. No more. <laughs> My goodness, <laughs> that's very expensive. Seventy-five dollars, I guess. Okay, someone else. Pero como es free, usted la está ofreciendo mm. <laughs> el regalo. <laughs> no, I, I'm giving you the classes. For the TOEFL. Okay. Teacher, una pregunta. Yes. ¿Verdad que a nosotros por estar en línea no nos van a dar como una certificación, un certificado? No es como ir a presencial, que ellos les dan un certificado. The... ¿O sí? Mm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I guess Dijeron you don't... Que... Dijeron que, que, que todavía no los han dado, porque yo pregunté también por el del primero, como este es el segundo. 
el segundo módulo. Entonces yo pregunté por el del primero y dijeron que todavía no los han dado. Entonces hay que esperar. Posiblemente nos los den juntos todos hasta el tercero. <ríe> o no sé. Ok, let's wait. Let's wait. Ok. So. No more Christmas. Um, in, the, in, in el grupo, ahí, ahí ponen su lista de regalos. Un Bitcoin que nos regale. <laughs> mm. Ok, let's begin. Remember that time flies. Y ya le voy a decir que quiero yo de regalo. I'm going to go to San Salvador for my present. Okay. We were practicing quantifiers, right? And there you have... Um, let's see. Give me a second. Okay, there you have, uh, if you remember, countable nouns and countable nouns, right? That's what we were practicing. The dogs are crazy tonight. Se han soltado los perros del vecindario. Okay, countable nouns and countable nouns. Can you give me, can you give me, give me a second, please. Sorry, the dogs are crazy. Examples, countable nouns. Give me some examples, countable nouns. Banana. Bananas, eggs, orange, oranges, candies, candies, melons, grapes, what else? Rolando. Y las uvas se pueden contar. Porque, por ejemplo, yo le puedo decir, me regala tres uvas. <ríe> Tiene un racimo de uvas usted. Pero me regaló tres uvas, o oh, va a depender. No, no, that's correct. You can count grapes. Mm -hmm. Grapes, like, and you can count the, the bunch also. But you can count. Grapes are um, countables. Let me see if I... Mm, no, there is not in this picture grapes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uncountable nouns, examples. Cream, cream, cream. Cream. Cheese. Which one? No Is contents. Uncountable. Rice. Rice. Beans. Mm -hmm. Oil. Repeat, please. Oil. 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 Okay. Oil. Mm -hmm. Oil. Cheese. Yogurt. Butter. What else? No more? <laughs> okay. No pollo. Oil. Good. Um, uh, 
I guess I remember that someone, someone asked me for quantifiers. Those are quantifiers. A lot, some, a few, any. Okay. And if you notice, uh, the pyramid is divided, right? We have two parts in the pyramid. We have countable nouns and we have uncountable nouns, okay? And we have those words, quantifiers. Um, a, a lot, a lot is the maximum, okay? And any, the minimum, okay? If you remember a lot, right? Um, bastantes, right? And then we have some, and then we have a few, and then we have any, okay? From the top to the bottom, okay? It's like, I'm going to... Let's see. It's like this, right? Here, we have, let's say, the 100% here, right? To say something, the top, a lot. And down, down here, we have zero. It means nothing, okay? Nothing, nothing, zero. Okay, that's it. And there is a difference. If you notice with countable nouns, we can use a lot, a lot of eggs, a lot of candies, a lot of bananas, a lot of crackers, a lot of grapes, okay? Or we can say some eggs, a few eggs, or any, any eggs, no eggs. With uncountable nouns, we have um, the same, a lot, a lot of cheese, a lot of pasta, a lot of butter, a lot of oil, or some, some cheese, some yogurt, some oil. And then we have a little. A little sugar, a little lettuce, a little yogurt, okay? And we have any, nothing, zero, no, okay? Um, I'm going to show you another presentation. Give me a second. Let's see to see the difference. Check this. A few, a little, a lot. Try to complete the sentence. In this case, there are, and choose one, a few, a little, a lot of. Tell me. A little. Remember that a little, we use a little with uncountable nouns. In this case, we can count one, two, three three children. So, a little? Mm, nope. A few. A few? A few. That's correct. A few. Mm -hmm. There are a few children here. Perfect. A few. Only three. Right? A few. Only a few. Exactly. Next. A little. Mm -hmm. There is a little wine in the glass. Thank you very much. 
Uh -huh. There is a little wine in the glass. Very good. Next. Can you read the sentence, please? Try to read the complete sentence every time. There are, there are a lot of people here. Perfect. Thank you. A lot, right? You see? A lot. It's the opposite. A few, right? A few, only three. A lot. Woo. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, like sixteen or seventeen. A lot. A lot of people. Next. I feel. There are a few flowers in the field. Nice. Next. There are a lot of pears in the tree. Nice. A lot, right? A lot of pears. Mm -hmm. Next. Oops. There are a little person in the tree now. Are you sure? There are a few birds in the tree now. There are a few birds in the tree now. Remember, a little with uncountable nouns. If you cannot count. Next. What about this one? This is a little make in the glass. Someone repeat. There is a little milk in the glass. Okay. Mm -hmm. There is a little milk in the glass. <clears throat> the bus goes in. A few minutes. A few minutes. I need these. <laughs> there is a lot, of, a lot of money in the safe. There is a lot of money in the safe. Pero no en la mía. Oops. And now? But there is... A fifth money a little, in this safe now. A little money. Aha. Uh -huh. But the money, it's content now. Let's see. Oops. Aha. Uh -huh. So, why? Es que no puede ser. Algunos dineros, <laughs> sino que, ajá, un poco de dinero. Yes, in this case, uh, the word many, uh, money is in general, right? But you can say, you can count the paper, the bills. You can say, I have three bills. I have three one dollar bills. <clears throat> okay? Tengo tres billetes de un dollar. So you can count the, the, the paper. Right? I have five bills. Cinco billetes. Okay? But money? No. Okay? 
That's it. Aha, uh -huh. this one. A few. My granddad gave me a few at mm. A lot of. What is gap? What is what? What is gap or gave? Uh, gave. My granddad gave me a little advice. Gave is um, give in past. That. Mm -hmm. Gave in past. Gave me. Me dio. Gave me. Uh -huh. Me dio. This is a very cold place. So, a few Taurus come here. Okay. A few Tauruses come here. One more. A little words of Chinese. A little words. One, he two. can excuse a sieve or a few. A few words. Probably one, two, okay. three words. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this one? A lot of? A lot of. So... A few? A little. <laughs> a little? Yes, a little. Uh <laughs> um, something that you can do remember we are talking about countable nouns and uncountable nouns right countable nouns if you notice or you can pluralize you can pluralize those nouns esos nombres se pueden pluralizar y como se pluraliza Agregándole una S, right? If you notice, let's go back. Pay attention to some words. For example, money. No decimos monies. No tiene la S. No es plural. Si no es plural, uh, puede indicar que es uncountable. Sometimes, okay? In this case, advice. No, it is not plural. We don't say advices. Okay? Aunque en español sí, no? Consejos. Muchos consejos. Turises. Now, with S, turises. Turistas. Turises. Chinese. No. Japanese? No, S. What about this one? This one. There is... A few paper in the bin. A few? A lot of? A lot of. There is a lot of paper in the bin. There is a lot of paper. A, a lot, a lot. Mucho, mucho, a lot. Okay? A lot. 
Okay. That's one practice. I have another one. Mm, probably not a practice, but check this. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hmm, check this one. Some, any, a, or an in affirmative sentences. Check this. Uncountable, uncountable, countable, okay? There we have uncountable nouns and countable nouns. It says, I have some cheese, okay? I have some cheese. Or, I have some apples, okay? Or she has some cheese, she has some apples. And then in negative, I don't have any rice. I mean, no, right? Remember that any is negative, no. Or I don't have any eggs. I don't have any eggs. In questions, do you have any oranges? Or do you have any grapes? Okay, so we use, check this, we use some in affirmative sentences. Okay, affirmative sentences. And we use any in negative sentences and questions, okay? In this case, there is some ice cream, okay? There is some ice cream. There is a banana, there is a banana there is an apple in this case an and a right there are some apples okay if you have questions or comments interrupt me and tell me ask me questions is there any ice cream is there an apple? Is there a banana? Okay. Another question. Are there any apples? Are there any apples? Okay, those are vocabulary. This is vocabulary. And... Okay, one, two, three. I need three volunteers. You are going to tell me. Me van a describir lo que hay en las repisas. Volunteers. Vilma, repeat please. La imagen del vocabulario 
que puso anteriormente. Ok, ok, ok. Por okay. favor, solo un momento. Ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Um, si hay alguna palabra nueva ahí. New words, new vocabulary. What is Petrus in Spanish? Uh, give me a second. Which one? ¿Cuál, Kenia? Which one? Beetroot. Está a la par de abajo. Beetroot. This one, bit, beetroot. Yes, teacher. Um, remolacha. And raspberries. Which one? Uh, raspberries. Oh, raspberries. No sé cómo. Like Rasp la parte. Raspberries. Um, yeah. This is... Strawberries? No, no, no. Strawberries are different. Um, give me a second. Teres. Esperan, creo. Arándanos, no. Frambuesas. No son las que le dicen moras aquí. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it depends. Eh, give me a second, I'm going to show you. It, it depends. What is plum? La, ok, en, en estas hay, hay varios nombres, ¿no? Pero la, acá lo mencionó, frambuesa. 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 ¿Oh? Frambuesa. Yes. Uh -huh. y, y hay otro nombre que se le da también. Uh -huh. Ok. Um, ajá. Another one. El que está a la par, preguntó al compañero. Plums son como cerezas o algo así que eso. What is it? I don't have idea what it is. Como ciruela creo que es. Las ciruelas, las, las, yeah, plums. Mhm. Uh -huh. Teacher, y los onions, que Onions. Uh -huh. eh, ajo. Onions. No son cebollas. Ay, sorry, cebollas. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> cebollas. Garlic. Garlic. ¿Dónde están los garlic? Garlic son los ajos. Uh -huh. Garlic. Those are, yes, onions. Plums, ciruelas, what else? No more. Y los cucumbers son los pepinos. Yes. Cucumber. No more? Yes. Okay, let's continue. Teacher, los que están a la par de las bananas, peas. Pears. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Pears. 
Oh, no, no, no. Peas. A, a la parte de las bananas. Peas. Yes. Los peas. Peas. Uh -huh. Another one? Son frijoles. Um, not exactly. Guisante. Yes. Así. Pero hay otro nombre también. Habichuelas. Okay, no more. Okay, let me... Aha, so... What we are practicing, right? So, again, who wants to describe? Teacher, I have a question. Uh huh. Yes, tell me. Any is con incountable. Some is con contable. Significa you... lo mismo. Algunos. Las, It... las dos, ¿verdad? Remember. I'm going to show you. Remember that we can use any with both countables and uncountables. There you have any. Okay. We can use any with countable, with countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Okay. And yes, okay, let's see. We can use some, if you notice, with countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Some cheese, some apples, okay? And we can use any with uncountable nouns and countable nouns. For example, any curd. Any curd. Este curd es, es curd. Guajada. Curd. Any curd, uncountable. Or we can say any eggs, countable. Okay? And we can use any, any juice, orange juice, uncountable, any juice. Or we can use any grapes, countables. Okay? O sea, podemos usar el sum con nombres contables o incontables. Okay? Y podemos usar el any. Igual, con nombres contables o con nombres no contables. ¿Ok? El som lo usamos en oraciones afirmativas. ¿Ok? Y el any ya lo usamos en oraciones negativas porque indica nada. Por eso está la X. No hay, no tenemos. No hay huevos hasta mañana. ¿Ok? Y usamos también any para preguntar. Podría ser, do you have any brothers or sisters? No, I don't have any brothers. I don't have any sister. Questions and answers. Ok. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Nice. Um, I'm going to use this one. Uh -huh. Can you see the refrigerator? Who can tell me or who can describe the refrigerator? ¿Se acuerdan del there is y el there are? You can write sentences, for example, there are some bananas, there is some ice cream, okay? Who can give me more examples? There is Apple, there is a bottle of water, creo. Okay, 
there is a bottle of water. En este caso está contando la botella. There is a bottle of water. Okay. There is a... How was it? There is a... Samaria. Watermelon. Watermelon. Uh, there are some orange. Oranges. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Next, more volunteers. More volunteers. There is a uh, some um, fruit. There is some fruit, okay. There is some, some uh, biscuit. Any biscuit. Mm. So repeat the sentence. There is uh, any and any biscuit. Okay. There isn't negative, right? There isn't any. There isn't any any biscuit. Any biscuit. Mm -hmm. There isn't any biscuit. Okay. Uh huh. Thank you very much. More volunteers. Teacher, ¿verdad que utilizamos there are cuando son plurals? There is cuando es singular. Exactly. I'm going to, let's do something different. Give me a second. We're going to do this. You have to choose the correct option to complete the sentence. They have lots of, many, much, some, any, no, little, few, a, or an. Okay, pay attention to the refrigerator check the refrigerator and use the correct option to complete the sentence. In this case, for example. In what is empty? Vacío, vacía. Aha. Uh -huh. Just the correct there, one. There is an empty water bottle. That's correct. There is an empty water bottle. Next. It's any, but is isn't, it's negative. So there isn't
It's negative, right? Whoa. I, okay. There is an, a cake left. Little. What is left? In this case, I'm I'm going to give you the the answer. There isn't much cake left. Why? If you check the refrigerator. Si hay pastel, ¿verdad? Entonces no, no podemos decir any, porque si hay pastel, ¿ok? Y no podemos decir um, an, porque no es uno o una. I mean, es, acuérdense que la A y el N es para countable nouns. Ok. Ahora bien, acá es. ¿Cómo sería la oración entonces? No hay mucho pastel. Por eso mismo les pregunté. Por eso les preguntaba. Quedar. Y yes. Es como decir, no queda mucho pastel. Si sí hay, pero no okay. queda mucho. No hay mucho. Ok. That's it. So, there isn't much cake left. No queda mucho. Si diríamos, no queda nada. No quedó nada. Ahí sí. There isn't any cake left. Ok. Let's continue. What about this one? There are only... Any? Onions, onions. Sería some. Porque por lo que veo es positiva, no veo ningún. Any. Ok. So, there are only. Aha. Uh -huh. But pay attention, there are only a. Few? Probably. Mm -hmm. There are only a few onions. Good. Algunas. Yes. Next. This is a question. Money. How many eggs are there? How many eggs are there? Good. ¿Cuántos huevos hay? How many eggs are there? Next. Lots of butter. Little? 
Let's try with not so. No, miro lo, el burro. <laughs> ¿Dónde está? There is any water in the fridge. But remember that any is for negative sentences. Many? Questions. What is many butter in the fridge? Many is for countable nouns. And butter is uncountable. Compañera dijo little. Ah, oh, little. <laughs> there is little. Now, ah, 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 a burro, ah, una manteca, tampoco. There is few. Tom, 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 Tom. Es que cómo se mide la manteca. Ni siquiera miro la mantequilla. Hay mucha mantequilla, algo así. Mucho. Pero ¿dónde está la mantequilla? Yo ni la miro dónde está. ¿Dónde está? Ni se, no, no se alcanza a ver dónde está en el refrigerador. Ok. Yes. There is no butter. No. There is no butter. Ok, now in this case. Um, Podemos usar esta forma donde decimos nada más there is no y omitemos el, la palabra not, there is not, ¿ok? Si ponemos el not, debemos poner el any, there is not any butter, pero en este caso podemos usar esta forma there is no butter, no hay, there is no butter, there are no students, there is no coffee. Eso there, fue trampa. There are no, no fruits. There are no bananas. There, are, there is no chicken. Okay? We can use this one. Next. Any. There aren't any mushrooms. Good. Next. Where is mushrooms? Next. Little. Little. There is only a little oranges. Next. There is milk in the fridge. There is little milk in the fridge. Little. Bit, bit, bit. <laughs> Yo no miro la miel de en el refrigerador. No, poca leche. Lara. Oh, okay. There is a lot of milk yes. in the fridge. Yes, there is lots of milk. There is one, two, three. There are two boxes and one bottle of milk. Next. This is a question. Is there any? Is there any ham? Hay algo de jamón? Another question. Would you like, esta frase, would you like, es, te gustaría, would you like? What is ham? I don't, I don't remember. Hamon? Would you like a ham? Would you like? 
Ajá. ¿Quieres un jamón? Pero decimos un jamón. Would you like any? Would you like any? Bit. In this case, would you like some? Would you like some? En este caso no ponemos el any. Usamos el some, pero cuando ofrecemos, cuando ofrecemos, ¿quieres algo de tomar? ¿Quieres un poco de café? ¿Quieres algo de soda? ¿Quieres un poco de jugo? In this case, we use some. Cuando ofrecemos, ¿ok? Más, ¿no? Cuando preguntamos, ¿tenés agua? En este caso, Do you have any water? Any. Um, ¿Hay jamón? Preguntamos si hay. ¿Hay jamón? Is there any ham? Ok. Pero en este caso, como estamos ofreciendo, usamos el some. Would you like some ham? Yes, please. Ok. Thanks. Sasash, what is sasash? Sausage, eh, salchicha. There is little. Mm. Sería A. A. Ah. There is A. Ayuna, pequeña. There is a small sauce. Next. Any. There isn't any beef. Question. How many? <clears throat> so how? How many fish is there? Mm. Fish. Mm. How much? How much fish is there? It's content. Okay. Um, acaba de depender. Okay. Um, es como el pastel si estuviera entero, completo y hubieran dos los podemos contar Uno, un pastel, dos pasteles tres pasteles pero en ese caso que está ahí es parte de uno entonces ya es uncountable ok igual que el fish Um, 
si los tuviéramos, obviamente acá tenemos el dibujito, ¿no? Y si tuviéramos otro, lo pudiéramos contar. One fish, two fishes. Two fish. Ok. Pero por lo general sería uncountable. How much fish? Ok. Es como ahí hay, un, hay una parte del pollo. En este caso se vuelve uncountable. There is some chicken. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. Esta es el, la parte del jamón. El fish está ahí. Ok. But some words are exceptions. Ok. There are exceptions. In this case, how much fish is there? Ok. Comments, questions. Complicated. Un poco. Yes. Um, it's a matter of practice. Ok. With practice and practice and more practice. That's what we need. Ok. It is not so difficult. We need just to, to practice. Any comment or any question? And if you notice, siempre uso esa frase, no? Any comment, any question with any. Para decir alguna pregunta, alguna duda. Any comments, any question? Obviously, we are going to have more practice tomorrow. So, what do you think? Give me a second, guys. I'm, I'm really sorry. The attendance. We're going to finish with this, okay? I forget. <clears throat> I have a question. In the past, it's not, is I forgot. I forgot. I forgot the attendance. Mm -hmm. I forget in pass. Just one minute. Today is Okay, Alison, Rachel, Sally, Ortiz. No. Carlos Andrés Pacheco Calderón. No. Cristian Alexander Pérez Portillo. Present. Thank you. Gabriela Alejandra González Cuellar. Present. Thank you. Jesús Antonio Arteaga Benítez. Present, teacher. Nice. José Alexander Pacas Álvarez. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Carla Elizabeth Hernández Peña. Present teacher. Thank you. Kenia Briseida Torres Martínez. 
Present teacher. Kimberly Janine Aguillon Lopez. Present. Perfect. Lindsay Indira Lobo Diaz. Present teacher. María Ana de Jesús González. Thank you. María Estefanía Orellana Flores. She was not here today. She always participates. Nancy Edith Cruz Mejía. Present. Thank you. Rolando Daniel Urrutia Salazar. Present. Thank you. Tania Stephanie Rivera Landa Verde. Tania, no, yes, no. What's wrong with Tania? Verónica Magali Martínez Martínez. She's not. Víctor Manuel Guardado Torres. Present coach. Perfect. And Vilma Rubenia Campos Martínez. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, guys. That's it. I will see you tomorrow. Enjoy your dinner. Have a good night, everyone. Good night, teacher. Thank good you. Night. Good night. Good, good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. I will see you tomorrow.